Let's make a new composition. Call it boing. Let's add some type. Command T. Hit V to move it into position. Now we want the uh, anchor point of the Boeing, hit A, to be roughly where the little dot is here of the eye. Uh, that should be about right. Hit P, move the Boeing back into position. Kind of like somewhere around here. Let's try that. Now we need to add a bungee cord. And uh, we do that by adding a solid. Layer, new, solid. Call it bungee. And now we will, the color didn't matter by the way. Let's add the beam effect, which is actually under Generate Beam. This is how it comes in. We want its length to be from the beginning point to the end point, 100%. Now we want the beginning point to be up and the end point to be down. Let's take the end point and drag it to where the dot is in the eye. And we want the beginning point to be lined up with the x value of the end point, 468.8, 468.8, makes it vertical, and now let's just uh, drag it up, up into the sky, somewhere around there. The end point is there, and that sounds great. Let's. Uh, Put a keyframe for the ending point. Mm -hmm. There. Uh, let's go 10 frames into the future here. Hit U. Want the ending point to be here. And we want the ending point to be up in the sky. Somewhere around there and then it drops. Hit N to shorten the work area. Do a RAM preview. That's the drop of the bungee point. Now we want the Boeing to go with the end point there. So we need to tie the position of the Boeing word with the ending point of the beam. So let's select the Boeing. Take the position and hit the option key and hit the stopwatch. Option click on the stopwatch gives us the expression field where we can enter an expression here or we can use the pick whip, this little thing here, to tie the position to the ending point of the bungee. Click into nothing. There we go. We do a RAM preview. That's our very stiff bungee cord. It looks like our anchor point was a little off on the Boeing, so we hit A, shift it a hair, looks like zero is just about right. Let's put the Boeing on top of the bungee now, that's better. So there we are dropping our bungee cord. Now we want to give a bounce to our Boeing, as it were. So let's apply an expression that we found on the web to the end point of the beam. Let's go to the web. And here we are at the motiongraphicsexchange.com with a hyphen, motiongraphicsexchange.com website and we found this expression called decaying bounce. And it's a very nice little expression. 
we will copy this expression and paste it into our program, but the first thing we need to do is to control a layer, this is to create a layer that controls all the functions of this expression. Uh, let's go back to After Effects. We will create this control layer by creating a null layer, new null object. Hit the Enter key to rename it. Control layer. Now expressions are case sensitive, so you need to make that a capital C and a capital L in order to match what the expression asks for. And we now need to add some expression controls. We're going to add three sliders to this control layer. These are very useful. If you have an expression in one layer and you don't want to type in a specific value and then have to change it all the time by retyping it in, you use expression controls. Let's make three. Command D, Command D to duplicate it. The first one, hit enter, should be called Velo control. Second one, enter. Amplitude control. The third one, decay control. The velo control controls the velocity of our bounce. The amplitude control controls the height of our bounce. And the decay control controls how the bounce decays, whether it does it quickly or slowly. So these three are set. Let's go back to the web. Command tab. Go back to Safari. This is the expression. We will copy this, Command C, back to After Effects, and we need to paste this into something specific. We're going to paste it into the ending point of the bungee layer. So select the ending point, hit Command V, no, not yet, actually hit Option and click on the stopwatch. Now. Whatever we paste will we'll go into here, so we hit Command V, click into nothing, scroll this down here. That is our expression. It refers to the control layer at a number of points. It looks like a mess right now, but in time you'll see that these things make perfect sense. There are some things you leave alone, and there are some things you can mess with. Basically, at the bottom of this, it says, Whatever you entered into this ending point, add the uh, change in y value that is indicated by this expression here. So 0 comma y means that there is no change, 0, in the x value of the bungee cord uh, endpoint. Y means that the change in the y value, or the height of the end of the bungee cord, is determined by this very clever expression here. How's that look? If we scrub, I don't see anything yet, and that is because all of the control layer settings are at zero. Now we don't want it to bounce while it's dropping, we want it to bounce after it has hit, so we need to keyframe these control values. We'll start them all at zero, because there's no bouncing yet, Hit U to reveal them. There they are. Hold down Shift, snap to this keyframe. Now, the values that seem to work for me right now are 15 for velocity, tab, uh, 75 for amplitude, tab, and 1 for decay. So if we scrub, we get a bounce. Let's see how that looks in a RAM preview. Anyway, I recommend you look at this site. You also look at Dan Ebert's site. That is E-B-B-E-R-T-S called motionscript.com uh, and there are a number of expression resources on the web. Thank you.